Hi YouTubers and welcome to another edition of Freedom Speaks and I'm your host Navon. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about transsexuals, transitioning, and detransitioning. So recently I was asked about if I wanted to transition. Actually it's a long story with me and transitioning that I want to get into. Um, when I was younger I used to really dress feminine. I used to wear a lot of feminine stuff like um, skirts, tight pants, pink shirts, tight everything, <laughs> long hair, you name it. I was basically doing it, you know, um, not on my everyday basis. And then when I say young, I should probably clarify like teenage, not like earlier than that. Like, I think I was about maybe 15. Yeah, 15 when I started really dabbing into it like that. And I really only did it with friends. And, you know, I live in Chicago, which I actually want to talk about in another video, how Chicago works and stuff like that. But, you know, there was a, there's a big community basically in Chicago where gay people congregate, you know, and hang out. We have blocks. That, you know, this is so, you know, so I was in that area and I'd just be hanging out, doing me, having fun, you know, stuff like that. Actually lived pretty close to there at one point when I was like 19 and 20. No, I was 20. I was 20 going or closer to 21 when I lived closer to there. And it was, yeah, it's a really cool area. Um, a lot of, I met a lot of transsexual people there, transitioning people and transgendered people, you know, gay people everywhere of all kinds, all LGBTQ, you know, because I realized by watching so many videos that transsexuals and transgender people are still technically part of our community. You know, they're part of our community, even though they're trying to, you know, you know, become, they're in a transition to become straight. I guess that's why it's called, you know, transsexual, transgender, because, you know, it's a process. <laughs> but yeah, I was asked, you know, or convinced to, you know, think about transitioning and gave it a lot of thought. I, I watched a lot of videos, like, um, from Princess Jewels and Diamond, uh, I think her name, I forget what her last name was. It was something else at first. It was like two things. And there was, um, it's Gigi Gorgeous. Um, and just a lot of other, like, random, like, you know, just transgender people, you know, in their process, in their movement, trying to, you know, figure out, you know, just, you know, express their emotions. And I was, I really admired and respected that. Um, I felt that it was very courageous to, you know, put that process out there. You know, fortunately, most of them, you know, were like in better areas in, you know, this, so I'm, of course, I'm going to say it from my perspective. So in better areas than where I live, you know, basically. Um, and it was, it just seemed really nice. You know, I was like, oh, okay, well, she's, you know. She's, they still were struggling, of course, you know, being, being transgendered, you, you know, you get harassed just like anybody, any other gay person does at some point, you know, so, but yeah, I was asked and I thought about it and at first I was like, yes, I'm going to do it. I decided, you know, <laughs> I have decided, you know, I've been that through that process of just like, oh, I want to do it, I want to do it, I want to do it and everything else like that. But there's also this, like, one, this is, what this, there was this one instance, and this is, like, so personal, and I'm kind of nervous. That's why I'm like, oh, my God, should I really tell you people this? Well, but, okay, I'm going to tell you anyway, because I feel like it's important, and it's not too, too major. So, anyway, um, one day, you know, I was dressing up. I was looking fly. Like, I had my, <laughs> my hair, like, I used to make wigs, and so I had my little wig that I made. It was blonde, and so I was like, bam, and... I was doing my thing, you know, whatever, looking cute with my heels and shit. Like, if, when I'm doing it, I'm doing it hard, so. And 
I ended up getting like drunk. It was like some drunk dudes. They just got on the they got on the train and they were like passing through the train and stuff. We're going on the north side. I lived up north. They were just going through the train, whatever. And they, you know, he like he stopped. He sat next to me or whatever. And he was just like, oh, I'm like on my grill. Ooh, just like you know, hand over my shoulder, talking, drunk. And I'm just like, oh my god, can you like back the fuck up? Like, whoa, like you know, get the fuck off me. Like, who are you? And you know, like. You know, <laughs> like, dude, we're, first of all, you smell like alcohol and you're fucking drunk and you have your friend and what's going on. You know, my, I wasn't like super, super scared like that, but you know, in Chicago, it's, it's a lot of people, a lot of variety of people. So you, you have, you know, you can't like, it's like an, a mixture of Los Angeles and New York combined together. If I had to say it was anything, you know, so you have to have like a tough skin people are going to talk to you people are going to like sit down like hey you know da, 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 and just start talking and, you know you have to be ready for that you got to be like hey you know yeah woo, 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 switch your leg and you know keep going you know <laughs> so <laughs> and so you just you know you, you talk whatever so i didn't you know but he, he, he was just doing too much and it really scared me you know so and i'm like to that level that it was just it scared me you know and i'm just like whoa hold on that's not this is not cool anymore you know you know so I get off the train i'm leaving me and my friends were gone i'm like um go to my guy and i'm like crying i'm like dude like i can't believe this just happened but it was just really traumatic for me i guess in a sense and really after that i kind of just kind of slowed down on a lot of um more feminine dressed and I still was dressing feminine but not to the extreme really like that but um yeah it was it was cool I mean I think that transitioning is cool honestly it's if that's what you want to be but when I was asked again and I really thought about it and I looked at all the videos and I was just like oh my god that's a lot to just a lot of dedication you know a lot of dedication and honestly truthfully if you really don't have the money for it then and the job for it it's like you either need to have money to do this shit or you need to have like a really good job or like access to like really good jobs like you have your education down packed so you can get jobs that will they won't care as much because they're like hey you're a specialist in xyz do what you gotta do you know what i'm saying <laughs> So one of the two, you know, so, and I'm like, I'm not there at that point where I, at what I, where I would do that, but I'm like, hmm, maybe in the future, I, I definitely probably would consider doing it in the future. Maybe, I don't know, but definitely not right now. But, and the, but then there's also a few problems with it. Like, as far as like, if I do it, I would want to do it all the way. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to be like, you know, Hey, you know, most people, well, if you don't know, like, from, from the, I don't know how I want to say this either, it's like, okay, most, most, most transsexual people, they can't afford that last surgery because it costs a lot, like, a lot, like, $30,000, I think, like, or something like that, like, a lot, so, it's, that process is expensive, so they, and then it's, you know, you get your genitals changed and there's, you know, it, that's it. There's no, there's no going back. There's, it's done. You know, there's no D, you know, transitioning or anything like that. There's just, you know, you and your new pussy or, you know, in the female's case, you and your new penis, um, which I don't, I don't know anything about. I should look that up. That'd be good. Cause I only looked up like a um, male to female transition, but I'm pretty sure a lot of um, females do transition into guys, but when I was looking up detransitioning, I saw a lot, um, a lot more females detransitioning than males. But that's like beside the point. The um, the surgery anyway. It's like, uh, you have to look at the surgery. It's like they cut everything off and then they just leave. They leave like two. They just basically leave like a little bit of your penis, like the sensitive part and then like your the tube that goes to your your um your bladder or kidney or whatever you know your kidneys basically whatever you know the um the tube you piss out of basically and they leave those two things and that's it you know everything else gets basically removed and cut off and your your the walls become like um the walls become 
are your nuts basically so or the lips sorry the lips are your nut you're like your nut skin or whatever <laughs> so i'm like oh my god that's like whoa and that's all like i was like oh my god that's extreme but I, I did want the boobs that's the only thing i would want i've always wanted was the boobs but anyways beside the point um i'm i'm just at a place where i feel where i'm happy with who i am and there's no reason for me right now even to start hormones or anything like that you know i finally reached this, a place where i feel comfortable with my body and how I look and I don't care, you know, like how my, if my nose is big or, you know, my forehead is big, my lips are big, whatever, like I'm used to my face, you know, I'm used to my body, I'm used to, you know, and that's what it's about, it's about used to, you know what I mean, like I, it's a process, like my neck used to be really long and I used to be like, oh my god, I need to, if I could just, if they could just, like, and then I, <laughs> I mean, but eventually I'm just like, hey, I got used to it being long. And I'm like, hey, shit, whatever. Oh, yeah, and that's another reason, too. My Adam's apple is, like, super long. And I would want that trimmed down if I did turn into a, a, a woman. But, yeah, I'm like, I heard that sometimes grows back. So there's, like, a big process that goes into transitioning, you know. And most people, they don't seem to look the same in a sense like some people don't look better because they turn and you know into a woman you know and it's like if you're not going to go into it and sh I'm, i mean just be honest like if i was going to go into it i'm going to be a dying piece fuck that you know what i'm saying like if a woman dying piece you feel me like boom 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 you know what i'm saying period you know what i'm saying so <laughs> is there's there's no if ands buts maybe i don't know i can't do it any other way you know because I, I think i'm a damn piece now so how would i look going into like you know taking the pills whatever then it seems like your face your face blows up first it seems like from in most cases it's like it gets a little bigger because it's uh redistrib red redistrib ugh, i cannot say that word right now redistributing the fat so like the fat from your nose will go there and like your nose get skinnier you know whatever you know get a little skinnier and you know you start with the boobs but from what i found out they only get as big as a b cup so you if you want like a c or a d you're gonna have to have some surgery and then that takes process and time and and from <laughs> from what one girl said like uh print uh, no gg gg Gigi Gorgeous, she said, she was like, oh, it hurts like fuck, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to discourage anybody from doing it, because like I said, maybe in the future when I have the money, maybe I will do it. So I'm not discouraging anybody from doing it. Now, if you have the money, you have the time, you have the job, you have the, you have everything ready to go, and you're like, hey, yeah, I want that, I want some, I want to change my sex, I want to become a woman, that's how I feel, that's who I am, that's what I want to be, then you do it, you know what I'm saying? But I know, if, and I know it kind of sounds like, oh, maybe you just really don't want to be a woman at all. But at the same time, you don't know me. So in, the, in that personal level, I'm just trying to spill some stuff. So it's like, you gotta, you gotta just take things one step at a time. Really, basically, is the, the step that, I, the point I'm trying to make with that. And being a femboy is not bad, you know? It's really not, you know? You still can dress up, you still can do your makeup stuff. I'm actually going to do some makeup stuff um, <laughs> at some point, make a video like that, um, which is going to be so cool to like put on my makeup and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like my hair, my hair and shit like that's going to be cool. I have me a little segment like that for you guys. That's going to be cool. But um, I have to think of a name for it, so I'm not going to spill too much about it. It's just going to pop up on me like boop like this did but yeah long story short if you're gonna do it just think about it think about all the processes do your research because i did some research and i'm like Ugh. just all the money and the time and hardship that you go through alone like i don't even get harassed anymore for being gay honestly like legit like i don't i don't know and i'm gay black i'm talking to you how i talk outside how i act outside 
I mean, I don't know. I think it's, but it's, I don't know. It's just, I think that straight people think that it's, um, like you're trying to make a mockery. It seems like trans, trans, transgender people are trying to make a mockery of trans, I mean, tra um, naturally born women. So that's why some people take it offensively, but that's, we all know the people who are transgender people and the people who, in the gay community and the people that take the time to actually try to understand stuff, we know different. So, but everybody has the right to their own opinion. So, you know, let them have it, you know, like you want to think whatever you want to think, that's fine, whatever. So another thing too, I wanted to get to with transgendered um, individuals is they don't really date that often or seem to go outside. Well, I mean, they do go outside, they do kick it, they do party, they do hang out, they do, they kick the bubbles hard, I'm sure. Like they all seem like they have these great lives. But like the relationship part is just like, damn, really? <laughs> so, I mean, I, that's another thing I wanna know more about. So it's like somebody, if you're gonna, I mean, there's a lot of videos about out there like it. So maybe if somebody puts some videos out there like that or leave a comment below and let me know um, where I could find some videos like that that actually talks about like the cost of being a transsexual or transgender person, you know, because I think that's something that a lot of people would like to know. But, um... Just in case, you know, for future reference for me anyway, but in the present <laughs> for a lot of other people. Um, but thank you so much, guys. Um, I really enjoyed our time together. And again, my name's Navon, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.